my rideshare friends, my YouTube subscribers, if you are not willing to get out of your comfort zone, if you still want to stay in that hamster wheel and that rut and do pool trip after pool trip, X trip after X trip, don't expect any change. Don't expect zero sympathy from me, okay? But in 2019, uh, there's a lot of good YouTubers putting out a lot of good information. If you just follow 20% of what they're saying, you will be making a lot more money, right? My channel, there's no BS. There's no gray zone. It's only black or white, right? I'll tell you the facts. It's all about business. I treat this as a business. And yes, there are many beautiful, fluffy little videos out there that'll tell you cute little things here and there. But at the end of the day, for me, it's about the numbers. Now, New Year's Eve, plus the week after that, many, many people have posted their earnings. Um, really exciting numbers that I've seen. Lots of videos go up. If you have not got out of your comfort zone and made a video and set up your Gmail or your YouTube channel, because your Gmail automatically becomes your YouTube channel, if you have not given yourself a name in your city, a little brand name and uploaded your first video from your phone, which is so damn simple, you can just uh, put in a keyword, how to create a video, how to upload a video into YouTube, you know, you will learn that within three minutes, right? If you have not got out of your comfort zone and made your first video, you will never ever receive and achieve the numbers that I'm about to show you, right? So um, I have zero time for the complainers, the whiners, the people who are bitching that they're making these little numbers and putting in all the hours. Yeah, that's because you're not willing to get out of your comfort zone, right? That's because you want to stay in that little wheel and you're happy to spin around like a little hamster, right? Be different, think different. And again, just 2019, you have this golden opportunity to explore um, more than that little spinning hamster wheel, right? I give you a ton of tips at Rideshare Driving School. I back up my numbers, my New Year's Eve numbers on my one account. And I'm going to take the um, little mouse cursor up there. You see that 4SL4T? Those were the numbers that I did that week, December 31 till January the 7th, $3,100. On the other ones, ladies and gentlemen, on my other code, AJEJA, -E -J -A, same period, December 31 till January the 7th, that this week, that's ended today, 920. You add those two up, that's 4,020, uh, 4, am I correct? Yeah, 4,020, one week, right? Uber alone. Uh, I didn't put too much emphasis on Lyft, uh, 654, right? If I add it up, that's 4,674 on the two platforms. Did I do any Uber and uh, Lyft trips that week, right? The answer is no, I didn't, right? Did I do many private trips through my commercial license, through my TCP? Yes, I did. Did I select the very, very best clients and the very best opportunity for New Year's Eve. Yes, I played many clients up against each other for that day. I wanted the highest number. People were not willing to pay my price on New Year's Eve. Um, I was not interested, right? Um, the day after New Year's Eve, I had one client flying back from the ski slopes at Whistler in Canada. He broke his leg. I took him. He Shot out, he was one of my best clients. He shot me a, he shot me an email and said, Torsten, pick me up at the airport, bring my family home. I gotta go for MRI, hospital, blah 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 the whole day. And was he paid me five hundred dollars plus tips, right? Not even I'm sorry, I'll take it back. New Year's Eve was the whole day. Uh first and second of January were half days. So those were like six, seven hundred dollar days to me, the second and the third. The first, I had a price tag on it, $1,000 plus security. There was a, a group of people that wanted a party, go to multiple play, uh, places. Um, I work with a security company. I had my own security company in South Africa as well. Um, so I uh, took bodyguards with me and uh, a fantastic night, a lot of partying and a lot of money. Um, let me just say that the private trips in this week 
uh, didn't quite make my Uber and Lyft numbers in total, but they came fairly close. So probably one of my best weeks. And, right, and it was my, I'll tell you what, it goes back to my attitude, um, how I approach this business. I'm all in, I'm not lazy, and I do go out of my comfort zone, right? Driving around with a lot of uh, 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 drunk people for a long, long time, hopping from here to there to concerts to parties with security, that's getting out of your comfort zone, right? you you got to be on the ball all the time. You can't drop uh, you, you can't drop your eye. You've got to make sure that everything is running smoothly. Now, uh, the numbers that I've put up here um, can only be achieved if you truly, truly get out of your comfort zone. And I'm, I know I'm using that word a lot here, but I'm encouraging you to make your first video, upload your first video, even if it's with your phone, and then leave me a message, hey, I did it. Torsten or right here, Professor, I did it. I uploaded my first video in 2019. I want to see you get a referral in your city, right? Um, another target that I also set, uh, and I said I was going to go back, meet up with the people there. I was in New Orleans, just fly out, have some fun, you know, to get fleets going in different cities. That was one of my, I've looked at the numbers in New Orleans, um, all based on tourism and visitors. And there's a lot of money to be made there. So it's, it's a safe city for fleets, right? So you've got to analyze the data, look at the statistics, learn from it, and make business decisions. My entire channel is purely about business. I have a lot of love and admiration for a lot of the other YouTube rideshare guys. But I find I, 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 I still see too many people spinning in the hamster wheel. I don't think it's healthy to bust your back, to bust your balls, and literally live in your car and eat unhealthy and have no life and burn yourself out and, 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 and trying to make numbers, uh, I, I, I don't see that as the goal, right? Build out a strong channel, uh, get at least, I think people will start taking you serious if you have at least a minimum of three or 5,000 subscribers, um, then you have something to offer Underneath that, I have to say, you've got to work towards those 5,000 subscribers. People should only take people seriously if they put in the hours and have over 5,000 subscribers. And there are many people that do have 5,000 subscribers, but there's people there that are think they know all the business and know all the ins and outs, and they may have two, 300 subscribers. To me, at that moment, I would not go live and start preaching. I would start preaching when the people have subscribed to you, and they follow your ideas, they give you feedback, they text you, they email you, and they say, hey, you know what, I tried that out, that worked, right? So I can tell you what, my course works. Uh, I've never had to ever offer a refund in all the years on my www.ridesharedrivingschool.com course. You come out and you learn more. You increase your earnings. In this game here that I'm showing you, it's all part of my rideshare driving school. I put all the cards on the table. I show you exactly how I did it, right? So if you just follow the steps, if you get out of your comfort zone and upload that first video and see, and, and I can totally understand and relate if it's like, oh my God, I don't want to look in, a, uh, uh, look in the lens and I, I'm going to start stuttering. It's okay. You can do a take 10, take 11, take 15. You can do the same video 20 times. And then you can say, you know what? That one I actually like. It makes sense. I'm, 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 I'm relaxed now, a couple of deep breaths. I like that video. I'm going to upload that one. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not expecting miracles the first time around, but what I am expecting from you is to see your first video. And, and if, if this is your first video that you're going to upload with your code, um, then, then write about it underneath this video. Hey, here's the link to my first video, right? And I'll check if it's your first video. If you've done 50, 60 videos and you think you're going to put in a video in my channel and steal my traffic, I've got news for you. But if you actually have taken the time and followed the steps in this video and gone out of your comfort zone and created your YouTube channel, created your Gmail, branded yourself with a name in your city, whether you're in Denver, Colorado, Miami, New York, New Orleans, LA, San Francisco, it doesn't matter. Give yourself a professional title, upload that first Uber or Lyft video, and let's put it underneath this uh, video. And I hope you get a lead from that as well, that that, that, that relates into a sign-up, that relates into um, some referral dollars, right? 
Now, I can tell you another thing. The tides, you know, just like the ocean tides, every six uh, hours they come in, they come out, low tide, high tide. Low tide right at the moment lies with Lyft. Signing up with Lyft, you ain't going to make any referral dollars, right? Uh, if you're referring, you ain't going to make any referral dollars. So uh, sometimes Lyft wakes up, smells the coffee, and puts out nice bonuses out there. Then you'll see the people migrating over from Uber, signing up with Lyft. Right now, I'm seeing all Uber. Uber is still keeping the money going. I, I think they're going to try and beat Lyft to the IPO. It's a hot, hot race. And Uber has to show investors uh, and the public in the initial public offering that they have the drivers and that they have the passengers. And they are throwing money relentlessly at referrals. With Lyft, it's die down. A um, person comes to me right now and asks me, um, you know, who should I sign up for? I always say, follow the money, follow the dollars. And right now, the dollars are with Uber because Lyft is fast asleep. I don't know what they're doing, but they are not making it attractive. What they're also not doing is they're not opening up new foreign markets or cities. They, they're sort of stuck on Canada, one or two cities, and that's it. All right, so... Uh, Lyft needs to rock and roll. It's a, don't get me wrong. It's a great company to work for, and you need it as a backup, or you need it as a primary or a secondary. You should be on both. You can sign up right underneath these links and get the highest bonus. But right now, I would encourage drivers, first timers thinking about the business, to chase Uber. Right? Um, it's just it's a it's a it's a bigger market. It's a bigger educated market. Some cities you will see that they are actually more Lyft drivers. Uh, a place that I've been spending quite some time now doing a lot of videos in New Orleans, uh, meeting with drivers, a lot of interviews there. And I've noticed that um, Lyft, I think, has the upper edge in that city, right? But that's only because they were throwing big uh, referral dollars at one stage at new drivers and uh, capitalizing on that. But right now, the money is with Uber, as you can see there. Look at the difference here at the ratio. Right, you're looking at 4,000 versus 600. Does, does that prove my point? Right, that's almost a six to one, seven to one ratio. Right, so that right now shows you when you look at the earnings, and that can fluctuate. The one can be, you know, um, this could be higher over here than this side, but generally speaking, 80% um, of the time you will make more on the Uber side versus the Lyft side. Again, I'd like to hear your feedback on this. I respect it. I know a little bit harsh in this video, but what I want to do is really light a match, light a fire under you, encourage you to make that first video, right? Your video should be on, 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 on YouTube. You're more than welcome to run it by me. Like I said, if it's a first time video, I'm going to put it in my channel and we're going to send you some traffic and then you put in the titles, the descriptions, in the description field, put your link so that the people link to you, to your page, right? You have a referral page. It's a full HTTP WW address with your code in it, right? Put, look look how I structured it under my video. Check how I put the links in there. All your subsidiary links. You can create an Amazon channel, sell ride share products. You can set that up. Go and have a look for yourself. Set up an affiliate channel. Set up a learning channel. They are 20 ways to monetize yourself, my friend. So no excuses whatsoever in 2019. I beg you, I beg you to get out of that damn hamster wheel. Drive safe and have a good one.